the GamePad Podcast. The GamePad Podcast. The GamePad Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the GamePad Podcast, episode six. I'm Mark. And I'm Ortavius. And I'm John. That's right. We've got a third guy here today. My good friend John is sitting on my left over here. Uh, John, why don't you give us a little rundown about yourself? Tell us about your uh, your little nerd history, your video game past, whatnot. I know, a special guest star here today. Uh, well, I've been a nerd, a true nerd, pretty much my whole life. I remember playing on, starting off with the original Nintendo uh, console and uh, playing that for so many years uh, I went to then N64 did or did a big jump from Nintendo to Super Nintendo oh I know giant uh, <laughs> a to, whole single generation uh, gotta have to talk about your uh, controller preferences there oh yeah oh, okay. <laughs> I'll go into those um, uh, I uh, went to N64 for some reason missed the whole PS2 or PlayStation error mm-hmm. and just uh went from ps2 to ps4 wow i um, was you totally skipped playstation 3 there's a lot of skips uh, <laughs> i think mind. most people skip the playstation 3 yeah yeah what was that was 360 yeah 360. ps3 and gamecube Everybody was that game time else had a 360 there's mm-hmm. no need to yeah, I think all of our friends had the 360. The PS3 yeah, was like six, seven hundred dollars too at the time. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember those uh, long nights, all nighters. If you remember, of uh, Xbox 360 nights with with uh, LAN parties and stuff. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. fucking Left 4 Dead at uh, our buddy's days. house and stuff. Those some the good times, good memories. Oh yeah. Um, it's raining out apparently yeah we got a storm coming in yeah so you know asmr uh rain relaxing sounds in the background for you guys i guess um yeah so i guess we'll just jump right into what we got uh for you guys this week let's just uh, jump into it just jump let's in just jump in literally it, jump in uh first up uh pokemon news because you know there's always something oh yeah every, every week fucking week it seems every week um case. so is he the president of Game Freak? Yes. Is that what it was? Okay, so mm-hmm. Mr. The creator Mr. of Pokemon. Mr. Janucci Masuda came out and wrote a letter to the fans of Pokemon in response to this whole, you know, national decks, regional decks, uh, just the general quality of the, the, Are you the guys sword so and upset shield. About that? Because I am. Yes, honestly. we're very upset about it. Well, I've... so we're upset in regards to like the way they're handling it. Like we're we're kind of upset on both sides. It's like. <laughs> We don't we don't agree with the way like the the Pokemon nerds are handling it. Yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not as upset, but maybe it's just because I'm a filthy casual. You are anything but a fucking <laughs> filthy <laughs> casual. casual. Get the fuck out of here. You IV train those Pokemon. Yeah, I it, like IV is pretty that, casual that is, at this there's point. There's nothing casual about that. I or don't. EV trainer. Tra- yeah, everyone, EV does, trainer. everyone does that. You just corrected him over the. <laughs> <laughs> that don't. don't uh, <laughs> Okay. All right. All, these things. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> anyway. I concede. <laughs> Jesus. The uh, so Masuda wrote a letter to the fans, uh, thanking everyone for caring d- so deeply about the games, and uh, went on to say that even if a Pokemon's not available in Sword and Shield, it doesn't mean it won't be in the future games. And uh, that was pretty much it. It was basically like the too long d- didn't read summary of it was uh, <laughs> we got we know you guys are upset. Oh well. Oh well. Sorry. <laughs> it, it wasn't even a sorry. It was no, like, it was not. A, yeah, it was not a eh, sorry at all. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> he, knows, he knows we're still gonna buy the games, right? Regardless, pretty much. So it's uh, but how how fucking tone deaf can you really be? Like, I feel like just read the comments. Like Japan is just as pissed, so it's not even like an American thing. Oh no, absolutely. I, yeah, I I don't know. I I think at this point they just. At, like for the past four games now, there's been outrage about something, mm-hmm. and they they probably just don't give a shit anymore. They're not even the you know top dogs in the Pokemon company anymore. Right? We have Niantic coming up here, like big dick Niantic with now, their Pokemon yeah, Go. Now that they fixed everything, yeah, with their Pokemon uh, Go and 
you know, Game Freak, all they can do is sort of copy mechanics from Pokemon Go to try to... They had to have worked with each other, right, at they, some point? They, I think they did for, like, Let's Go and stuff like right. that, but, you know... That was even after uh, Pokemon Go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know when Pokemon Go, uh, the app came out, Niantic single-handedly almost doubled Nintendo's stock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they made like a billion within like a week or something. It was oh, yeah. insane. Like someone, I was watching YouTube videos, someone brought up a really good point that maybe it's not that, you know, Game Freak is lazy, which is what a lot of the, you know, people have been saying as far as their outrage. But, you know, Niantic, that's, they're, they're pretty much Nintendo's Pokemon baby now. Like right. they make most of the Pokemon money. The mainline games aren't. They're just not put pulling in what they used to. They still do really fucking well mm-hmm. because they're Pokemon games. But you know, imagine Nintendo like they just raking money from people buying eggs, yeah. egg hatcheries for Pokemon Go. They have <laughs> dropped off recently in the Pokemon main games. Yeah, you've seen uh, the last uh, several games has seen a decrease in the amount of profits Mm -hmm. it's still a giant amount of profit of course but right it isn't the powerhouse that it it once was exactly and they 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 know that out the same shit every no you're right right. did any any of us play ultra sun and moon i did not no No. i I bought i think a lot of people skip that i think i bought um ultra sun i no, you I bought the moon. Bought it, but you didn't play it. I bought the moon version. I might be yeah, ten minutes into it, oh. and then I like regifted it for Christmas <laughs> to someone. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, I mean, Pokemon's always been a cash grab at everything. Ever Definitely. since Red and Blue, you're coming out with multiple versions of essentially the same game. But at least back with Red and Blue, it was like the next was Gold and Silver, and it was like a completely different game, oh, right? Absolutely. And yeah. then uh, there, there's always a lot like of content, movie. and that's the thing they've gone. You know, they don't release as much content as they did before. There was a ton of post-game mm-hmm. things that you could do. And it seems like now they focus more on the competitive aspect of Pokemon, where the mechanics are more geared towards that. You know, if you want to EV train, if you're, you know, a casual player, and you just want to EV train your Pokemon, that was a joke. That was, <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you're a hardcore player and you want to EV train your Pokemon, they set up, you know, content for you to be able to do that effectively and efficiently. But that that's pretty much all the content that they've added. Like before you would get, you know, a ton of extra mini games and things like that. Battle Frontier, blah, blah, blah. You know, it goes that's on. And they, mm-hmm. they still do that, but is you know, it's not new. We want new. Like when the Battle Frontier came out, it was like, yes, this is so cool, blah, blah, blah. And then they're just like, okay, let's just keep releasing Battle Frontier for yeah. the next 10 years. Right. I feel like they're falling into the same rut that some older game companies have been recently, where it's the same or very similar game every year. Mm, but Call of Duty. The, exactly. That's oh, what yeah. I was going to reference. Yep. Yes. <laughs> uh, with the era of games that we're living in now, like you can create such a polished work of art and uh, replayability like uh, out, out the roof, but they keep falling into the same traps uh, mm-hmm. that they have been. And that's what I think has seen with their decreasing profits. The Niantic uh, partnership and going with Pokemon Go was fresh. It was new. Everybody... Yep. Right, one is to fresh. jump on that. It's Pokemon and fucking virtual reality, right? right. <laughs> yeah, and then their mixed reality. Game Freak is trying to emulate that, but again, that was fresh and new when it came out. And Game Freak adding that to their games doesn't—it's not fresh anymore. I feel it's like Pokemon Let's Go is more of just a, exactly. like a baby down version, though. Like no, it, just it absolutely was. It absolutely that, was, but they—they they wanted to bring that new casual crowd to their mainline games and right. i think that's what was what they were hoping for mm-hmm. you know you saw with pogo pokemon go that so many non-gamers were playing that exactly you walked out on the streets everybody was playing that game when it first came out mm-hmm. still a huge amount of people play it oh, i play it um but with uh, let's go pikachu let's go eevee you're right they just kind of incorporated what they thought was the best ideas from it exactly right? to try and, and pull meshed. people in and I mean, it definitely worked. It's still, those games still outsold, you know, all of the other games that came out that, you know, around that time yeah. by far. But at the same time, to how many fair, people though, are still playing it now? There wasn't a huge, like, game release at that point, though, was there? Uh, no. I, I honestly, I want to say to that year. 
Well, like it, it, that came it made some years. It made some uh, massive sa- sales. Yeah. It was on the like only it, on the Switch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon, and I think let's go. Whenever you switch over to a new console. Um, well, and it was exclusive. it was the first Pokemon game for the like, yeah the, exactly. like a home console. It's so always it going to take deal. a little while to build but, up. But like Smash came out that same year. Oh yeah, I that mean so, towards the end of the year. Yeah, so, it was like what a month or something. Yeah. Like Smash came out in December. And I want to yeah. say Pogo. S- Smash right Smash is always going to be like a right. console yeah. selling game. Like right, but what I'm saying is like that that Pokemon game didn't like outsell. It may have outsold stuff in November because November didn't have anything. No, Pokemon did not outsell Smash. In no, 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 nothing. Way. Nothing's they, gonna they really. Going to. Yeah, yeah. But it's still, for what it was, it's still one of the top selling games on the Switch. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not gonna be Smash or Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, but you know, yeah. <laughs> they still make so a shit ton of money. Amazing games, and I feel like Pokemon is really just dumbing well, down. What's well, like, like if if you go on Reddit, like people are like posting like hey just got a switch like what game should i get for it and like everyone's top five like pokemon's nowhere in there yeah like, the and that, let's go. that's sad because it used to be the case right. that pokemon yeah. would but this let's go game isn't like considered a mainline game and it's also yeah. like pokemon on training wheels so it's yeah. not gonna be like that's the thing the game to get wheels, yeah yeah like, it, it's really they hold your hand real hard oh yeah my gosh it, it, it's a fun you know casual game though like it, and they said that when it came out they're just like look this game isn't you know it's not geared towards our hardcore pokemon fans right. we're trying to bring in new people but it's see, gonna be super fucking easy at least they were like upfront and honest with that yeah in terms of like what their plan was with yeah that. i feel like with sword and shield they have have not been quite as upfront yeah until like Honestly, two yeah. months before it comes or six months before it comes out whatever the hell it is with let's go pikachu and let's go eevee just being a underwhelming hit i would say not a smash hit but it didn't anger their base um like it angered some G. people it yeah. angered some of the hardcore like yeah you know where's sucks, our mainline yeah. game well, we want mainline pokemon game mainline pokemon game gets released we don't want this this is what we wanted god damn masuda it's like ugh, just yeah. What how's town coming? Well, you know, yeah, when yeah. are you guys done with town yet? But yeah, they're they're starting to diversify. They're not putting all their eggs in one basket. And we can agree though, the mechanics that were introduced in Let's Go, with the Pokemon always being there. Yeah, like the I, I can't seeing see them it going. Stuff. Yeah, that, yeah. Do we yeah. know how it's going to be in Sword and Shield? Today? Yeah, it's well, a it mixture. Like, yeah, it looks like a lot will be like just out available. Yeah. Um, random encounters the problem, and the yeah the problem though is that like like i think we said this last podcast maybe two oh the animations ago, the animations yeah. are like ass compared to let's go <laughs> i actually just saw that they are reusing the same animations or many of the same animations from the last game like the last mainline game exactly, which was on yes. uh, handheld <laughs> yeah years ago at this point right i mean that that's the sun and moon that's something and, they've always yeah. done too so it's like it's not a surprise usually when you have They'll, they'll usually use animations within like three generations of each other or four mm-hmm. generations sometimes longer if it's a really good animation like uh for, like for double for kick ass. you know like for double for kick you can't be you see uh remember that looking from behind that no oh, no boy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know yeah but so i don't know it it, see, it just they seems like very tone deaf on Mas- masuda yeah to just I, release this letter like I, and it was like it was like he could have just said nothing and it would have like kind of been the same yeah i i think so actually it probably would have been better if he had just it said would have been better. it yeah. would have been forgotten about well I, I don't know about forgotten but like at this point at it's, he's news. acknowledging that he's like he's aware of all the shit yeah and it's just like we're not going to do anything about it though he had to so it's, it's sort of worse I feel. It's, it's probably like nintendo on his back to sort of like dude yeah, like, like you got to say something because masuda doesn't usually yeah. get involved with this kind of stuff no he the but dude now people are turning him into memes and shit so oh yeah like, and, and he's uh-oh. like he's been getting harassed a lot too from you know people like there was a big story about him commenting on someone's wedding on oh, that right. wedding yeah. and you know the that. entire like twitter saw this guy responding to the wedding and so that entire twitter feed on this other person's wedding who has nothing to do with pokemon is just like bring back national decks blah blah what are you doing you know right it's just so 
for someone accused him of, of rape, rape. rape. Yeah. And a completely false story yeah, came out. They it was, deleted their account and everything yeah, afterwards. It was a fake but account that came out and they just like, wanted Jesus, to dude. stick it to the man. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know. So if I were him, I'd just be like, fuck the Pokemon community. Yeah. At this I'm point. I'm I'm a town it's man now. <laughs> so much. Just a simple thing. Oh my god. Yeah. Not it's, necessarily Pokemon fans, but like just fans of uh, any kind of internet or, or gaming topic. Yeah. When we get behind something, I'm not saying uh, us and our, are the ones giving them those those threats, but right. Yeah, we can get uh, polarized so quickly and so heated. Um, no, you're right. But these are games that we lo- we love, we cherish. We don't want these to be good when they come out. We don't want these. Yeah. And, and we can't really be mad at them when the market is headed towards mobile games. More That's more. where the money is. Right. Pokemon Go is one of the highest. Like, they make so much money still from that. Tens of mil- they're just shoveling in the mm-hmm. cash. Mm-hmm. They just announced another mobile game, Pokemon Masters, which is going to have, you know, all of the trainers and things from the anime and things like that coming in. So Brock, Misty, all of them. And three on three battles it's supposed to be like similar to the mainline games but on mobile so if the real question is when are they going to have pokemon snap redone that, that yeah, is correct right. not gonna I, happen I, yeah i don't think anyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so many people up. want it at this well, point actually no i think pokemon snap snap could totally work if they oh, absolutely because the camera you know it, it would have to be a mobile app yeah it could be a another hit uh yeah. surprise hit because Everybody's asked for that for at least mm-hmm. a decade. Yeah, but with the Pokemon Masters game, you know the people they've received that so much. You know, it's been such a positive reception for that game. In fact, a lot of fans have been saying that they actually are more excited for this mobile game than they are <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield. And Jesus. so you have these companies hearing that. What are they going to work on? Are they going to put all of their energy into? A console game or are they gonna put their energy into mobile games that people like just as much and they can make 10 100 times more money on right. much faster also exactly much, much easier to make over a longer game. amount of time yeah just you know who when when did pokemon go come out x and y pokemon x and y was a thing they're not making any more money off of pokemon x and y no but pokemon let's go is still making them millions of dollars so have every you guys year. paid anything for pokemon go <laughs> no oh i have not but like i've been like back when it was like first coming out and it was like super popular mm-hmm. like i went with a couple super casual friends like they weren't even pokemon fans like they'd never heard of like a pokemon before but like Ooh. they were just like they, they got wow. caught in the hype yeah. and this guy spent so much money mm-hmm. like buying pokeballs and stuff these are my confessions <laughs> maybe i bought me some pokeballs and some hatcheries to hatch my eggs <laughs> and maybe some loot i just spent ten dollars <laughs> on it last week just dropping on it how much just ten uh ten dollars ten bucks i was gonna buy five dollars and it it's so easy to buy something on there i double tap it to j- and oh. boom when i when i when this i was playing had, it i probably spent about a hundred bucks on it well, that's what this guy had, it, this guy had literally spent like a hundred dollars but like it was, I mean, oh, we yeah. were like a month or two in. Yeah. And it was like, bro. like <laughs> That's a little bit too early to, like, to know yeah. how big it's going to be. Well, getting. and like he wasn't even a poke, but that's what blew my mind. Yeah. He like had no idea. Like, he would catch something and be like, oh, is this a good one? What is this one? It's like, that's a fucking ponytail, dude. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> I know somebody who's flown to different regions to get the region specific Pokemon. So that's that crazy. guy has spent hundreds, maybe even $1,000. I didn't just, make the Pokemon company any money, though. Oh, he just spent money to. Yeah, to but do but that. but oh, look at it. Ridiculous. Pokemon Go has stimulated you know local economies across the world. I mean that's their argument. For you you think Pokemon X and yeah. Y is stimulating you know the local Denny's down the road? It's no. just not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, make make my house a Pokestop. You'll get all the the business you guys want. This is not a shout out to Nintendo directly, but if you're listening, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much all the Pokemon stuff that we've got this week there hasn't been a whole lot of a uh, craziness come out besides that letter so uh hopefully they can pull it together <laughs> at the home stretch here. yeah uh moving on we got some esports news this is a, we haven't talked about esports yet on the show but uh it's quickly becoming a a bigger and bigger thing so you know eventually we had to 
talk about it at some point. Yeah, I heard I someone a few huge. weeks ago say that, uh, you know, esports is just a fad. Yeah, I don't think it's a fad at this point. Like, I, I it's definitely no, it's a, a multi, thing. it's multi billion at this point. Oh yeah, with how many games there are in tournaments? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember watching it um, for the first time like years ago, and my dad would come around and say, "What are you watching?" It's a like, hit. There's, there's people <laughs> playing uh, uh, these esports. And so many people, as a, as a barrier to esports, think that oh, that's not real sports. That's not real. It's like, well, why are you watching football? Why right. aren't you playing it? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's like, well, I like watching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I, I like, like seeing I like, people who are actually good at it. Right, exactly. like the skill ceiling on these is like infinitely mm-hmm. better than I could ever be. So it's it's cool yeah. to see how a game <laughs> actually works. Like, <laughs> I, I don't I don't want fucking Gregory, the linky tall guy from the Amazon factory. I don't want to watch him play football. You know, flag football right. with the bros. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's different. So with esports kind of becoming like a bigger and bigger thing, obviously more and more companies are going to be jumping on board and stuff. And one of those companies is actually Marvel. Marvel has joined forces with Team Liquid, Ooh. who is an esports organization. Team uh, Liquid is OG since like Stark. Yeah, Team Liquid yeah, is like one of, the, one of the big yeah. ones. Uh, I, I believe they've yeah they've got starcraft uh league of legends i'm pretty sure i used to watch them with uh, um, starcraft 2 yeah, cod yeah. super smash brothers yeah yeah I, I think they have a overwatch league team i can't remember i think they do i feel like I've seen i can't it. remember what team it is but like, yeah. they're affiliated with one of them i'm sure yeah i'm not i wouldn't be surprised um but yeah so they're they're a big one and uh basically i think it's just like a merch line like t-shirts and whatever that they joined up with marvel but like that's still yeah, a that's huge huge. Deal. <laughs> yeah anybody joining with marvel like marvel jumping into the esports we all know how gigantic marvel and disney mm-hmm. right itself are it's surprising it's taken this long for them to to jump on this yeah yeah but like ever since especially overwatch league which i think has pretty much been the i mean league of legends is pretty massive but the way overwatch yeah. league has mm-hmm. done it you know They've gotten so many of these co- like companies to come in. T-Mobile, Coke now, mm-hmm. Buffalo Wild Wings, yeah, Toyota. Toyota. Oh, yeah. You and, always see all the sponsors on all the the esports uh, champions like on their on their merch, their gear. They just oh, yeah, flagged like, out oh, with yeah, all of them. Yeah, it's yeah. Like NASCAR, Jack like, in the box. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like NASCAR. You you know like I'm I'm not surprised. We're just gonna see it get more ridiculous as time goes on oh, yeah. because mm-hmm. of just how much money they've invested mm-hmm. into it like an overwatch team is 60 million dollars 40 to 60 think, million yeah, think, to uh, buy in that was stayed that was season two right so 40 to 60 so who, who knows what it's going to be for next season right yeah <laughs> it's, it, it's crazy um yeah and uh another big company that just signed up into the esports realm uh gamestop Ooh. Which kind of seems obvious because that's kind of what they do, um, but they just recently signed uh, a fighting game esport player, uh, Jay Wong nice. is his name, and I guess he's he's a huge. Oh, yeah. I don't I don't watch a whole lot of like fighting game tournaments and stuff, but apparently he's a big player oh, in yeah. that scene. Um, well, yeah, if it, you want to go back into the history of esports, those that's really where it was. Those yeah, old school like fighting, especially in fighting like games America. And and yeah, like, Evo. Uh, yeah, Evo. Sure. Shout out Japan Evo plug. Stuff. Yeah, it's like Evo <laughs> tournaments and stuff were huge. CEO just went down before uh, last it was even week. Considered esports, it was just yeah, it was just like a fighting a game gaming tournament. competition. Yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah. Now, now if it's kind of you want to think about it, it's the same gaming uh, fighting games, but Cap- Marvel vs. Capcom like what 20 at this point mm-hmm. <laughs> versus each other yeah mortal Kombat, yeah street fighter yeah. smash bros being like one of the more massive ones mm-hmm. although smash brothers isn't a fighting game so you, you gotta be careful with that <laughs> mm. <laughs> or don't even get me started <laughs> fighting game purists will uh come out and harass you uh, but so this Jay Wong and GameStop deal it's uh basically he's gonna be doing like uh like content like video stuff uh putting on clinics and stuff and how to like you know play certain games to like the higher levels and stuff like that so like street fighter and tekken and all that kind of stuff his, nice his kind of expertise they're gonna team up and he's gonna do that for them i don't know if they're gonna like show it in the store i'd imagine that's kind of what they're hoping to do yeah that um, makes sense but then they're probably gonna distribute it and stuff but uh 
I also I didn't know that like apparently GameStop's also involved with uh, a bunch of different esports organizations. So this isn't like the first time that they're kind of going through this. Um, they're associated with Complexity, Optic Gaming, and uh, Team Envy. Oh, nice. So like they're already kind of diving in, and apparently this year they're making like a real push to get into the esports scene so wow which i feel like is kind of late for them can, can they afford that at this point they, they waited a little too late yeah they're i, I think now they're kind of it's like a last ditch effort for them to like stay relevant yeah uh, especially with the whole bankruptcy thing yeah. like looming over their heads like, oh yeah <laughs> you know cause like a lot of stores if you go into a store now it's like very different compared to like 10 years ago where like they're, <laughs> they're selling more like uh like nerdy merch and like yeah, t-shirts and plushies, board games, wallets, plushies. all yeah, that stuff. Doing I noticed that, kind of that like the pop. Yeah, the pop thing is yeah. huge. I don't but, know if you've noticed like GameStop in the last like ten years. Like every GameStop now is just like a little hole in the wall. Yeah, um, they, they definitely so downsized for sure. Everything is like so narrow. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's going to go the way of Blockbuster, or do you think GameStop is going to stay? I relevant? think I think they they've kind of foreseen that if they had stayed the in their lane, quote unquote that they probably would mm-hmm. go that way. Um, that's why I think they're trying to transition into like this like nerd kind of culture hub. Right. Because if they were just selling games, obviously, like with everything kind of pushing towards digital, I don't think they'd make it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like with the used stuff kind of getting, starting to get phased out. Yeah. And they're, then, they're uh, just like an FYE yeah for gaming pretty much right. Just so, strictly. But I mean, FYE is starting to kind of go under too. Yeah. They were, they were more music focus than mm-hmm. anything but like with the GameStop kind of moving into this esports thing they're sponsoring a lot of tournaments and stuff now um and then as far as like just the the nerdy merch i think they bought there was an online like geek retailer that like sold a bunch of geek stuff like i think they ended up buying them a while ago hmm. i can't remember the name it was like one of the big like you would go to that store if you wanted to buy geek shit hmm. like back before it was kind of super cool okay yeah i can't remember the name of it but they started selling that stuff in store, you know, because they got to bring people in right. at this point. So, like, I think if they keep evolving and, like, kind of realizing their weaknesses and stuff at this point, I think they probably could make it. I feel like there's going to be a lot of stores that go under. Um, oh, absolutely. Just because they have to downsize at yeah. this point because of the mistakes they've kind of made. Or, like, not mistakes even, but just the way the market's moving. Exactly. You can't. There's not much you can do about digital gaming. Right. This. Uh, yeah. I mean, they could have foreseen it coming i think a little yeah. sooner but but it's just like you know and their solution to that would just be it's like a train coming towards you full yeah. speed and you can just step out of the way it's just slow it's like oh train's coming i well that's gonna fuck up my day right there, there's not a whole lot they can could do besides what they're doing now right so I, like as long as they kind of stay on this course i think they'll be okay um but like I said, I think I want to see them kind of push more towards retro stuff a little more because, uh, I mean, there's really only one. I can't even remember the name of the store, but there's really only one store that's like a chain that just sells like the old like NES, SNES, Sega Genesis games, that kind of stuff. It's a vault store. No. Oh, no, no. Is vault, that just vault, a... No, that's a that's a local store. Actually. Oh, they just bought that old FYE store. <laughs> <laughs> um but I was in I was in Alabama for work a while ago, and there was like I can't remember the name of the store, but that store is like a chain, and it's kind of like GameStop. Like they buy stuff and they sell stuff, but it was like they had a focus on the retro. Um, so I'd like to see GameStop kind of move more towards that because that's that's going to be kind of it. I feel like that's like the last piece of their puzzle for in-store stuff. Is there that big of a market for retro gaming? I know you're really there's, big into oh, it, but there's there's a market. It's not huge, but I think it'll get bigger because I have I have a theory. <laughs> oh, um, a game, a game theory. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Matt, hey. <laughs> Matt, Matt wouldn't do that. No, he's, he's a good guy. That's fair use. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so like the the problem with going into the digital age here, I'm going to go on a tangent, so bear with me. Uh, the problem with going into like the digital age and everything when everything is going to be streamed or digital and stuff, those servers eventually get shut down. Right. Like you see a lot of PS3, I, I don't even like PS3, Xbox 360, all those servers are dead, I think, at this point. There might be a few stragglers. There uh, are but, like, some PS3 yeah. servers that are up, yeah. Okay. But like, you know, the Wii Shop is dead. 
like like there's a lot of like online services for the Wii that are dead. Right. So like a lot of those online games that you're playing, they're not going to be around. Like Fortnite, as big as it is right now, 20 years from now, I don't think it's going to be around. Oh yeah, there's the whole Fortnite versus Minecraft uh, debate and how Fortnite has been on the decline and Minecraft has been... Yeah, Minecraft's going through like a renaissance right now, but oh, they, yeah. they've also like spent a ton of time like updating it. Oh yeah, very stuff. true. So like since one point thirteen, the update right. that they added and there's, like, that game. There's like so much you can do yeah. and everything. So it's like it like, that one. I think will be safe for quite yeah. a while. And, and yeah. the thing is, like, it didn't have as many people as it did when it started, but it still has been massive. Right. Since it's, it's the most yeah, played game. I all and it's yeah. always been every year. Yeah. It's always the most watch on YouTube mm. and stuff like that. Besides when Fortnite came out, you know, it went down to number two. Right, but still, it's been able to keep up all this time, ten years. Well, it's because it's such a basic game, but like there, there's like just unlimited creativity that you can have with it. So right. I think that's why it's it'll be around like twenty, thirty years from now, um, in some form anyway. But with like Fortnite and like PUBG and you know Overwatch, as They're much as they away. try with the Overwatch League and stuff, like you know those servers will eventually have to be shut down, and that will render the entire game useless because it's just it's, it's strictly an online game. So I think the more that happens, I think there will be a push towards like the old retro stuff because like, you know, a, a Super Nintendo game doesn't ever get shut down. <laughs> it's not online. Like True. GameCube games, with the exception of like two, won't ever get shut down. The discs might get fucked up and, you know, there, there will be less and less of them, but like they'll never get shut down. So I think the more people kind of realize that and see it happen for themselves like oh like i can't play this old game anymore like that was my childhood man like they might re-release like a special edition one or whatever but mm-hmm. like you've got to up keep those servers to play online and crap so i think with time moving on i think eventually retro stuff is going to be like a little more mainstream and you know as far as collectors there's all i mean there's collectors and everything but like I think it's gonna become a more casual thing. I could see that. Yeah, they did that with uh, Halo Two when Halo Two was shutting down its servers. Mm-hmm. There was a story about how a group of uh, Halo Two players were in a multiplayer match, and they wouldn't leave the multiplayer. Yeah, match. I <laughs> saw keep that. The server online. Yep. Yeah, they would keep the server <laughs> online, and they did it for days. Yeah, just killing each other, but keeping this, and then suiciding, keeping right. the score at zero, <laughs> so nobody would win, <laughs> That's just awesome. so they could keep playing it. That's pretty cool. It's it's things like that. It's it's really fun, but right. But I mean, you know, and you see it like they're coming out with like the Master Chief Collection, which is going to have like all of them and stuff. So I'd imagine there's an online in some form. It's probably not Halo Two exactly, mm-hmm. but it's you know there's an online multiplayer Halo at some point. You know, so like Fortnite will probably evolve like that. But like, I, you know, kids now, like the eight nine year olds that are playing Fortnite now, thirty years from now when they're like fifty. They're going to be like, oh, you know, I can't play my old Fortnite. Like, I kind of miss it. I I remember remember back in the day. I was a season one player, you know. It's like, wow, Grandpa, that's not cool. Anyway, (laughs) um, so, yeah, that's my whole I mean, retirement centers are going to be off the hook. Like, when us... Oh, yeah, it's just going to be an arcade. Oh, it's going to be. Uh, (laughs) Pinball machines, arcade machines, cabinets. They're they're, kind of like that now with the Wii. When the Wii came out, you know, so many of those went to retirement homes. Like, the older generation, Mm -hmm. they, they, they... Well, I was gonna say they grew up on the Wii, but they're they, they they're dying to the Wii, the Wii yeah, you know, dying on the Wii. which is awesome. I think, you know, yeah, I don't know. No, it's, it's it, yeah, you're right. Retirement homes are gonna be lit. Those are gonna be later so on. Fun. Yeah, it's just like an all day esports tournament. I know they're gonna <laughs> be a bunch with, of old people that just video games nonstop. Right now, they're just filled with what sex, right? Old old people sex. <laughs> <laughs> but screw that. Let's like, give me my video games instead. Right. Uh, and then finally, right, we got way off on a tangent there. We really we're so did. on esports. Um, so I started talking about GameStop. And- yeah. Uh, so finally, with this esports news, uh, Artavius and I actually, as soon as this podcast is pretty much done, we are packing up and heading up north to Atlanta for the Overwatch League Atlanta homestand games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Still not packed. I'm not either. I'm not. No. I'm, I'm supposed to be at work right now. You actually. Guys are <laughs> We'll, we'll have to bleep that part out. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> <Edit>. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, I'm super, super stoked. Uh, last year we went to the grand finals, which was around this time last year. Yeah. But like we're still in stage three of season two because they started way later this year. Um, but the grand finals was like super dope. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, like being the, the first one ever. City. Yeah. And it was just the hype. I, I, there were so many people. That whole stadium was sold out. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. It, like just the energy in that room was insane. And so. so many different, like it was a very diverse crowd too. Yeah. You know, I like being an old guy, <laughs> I expected to be surrounded by a bunch of, you know, little kids, but it, it was, was a good age group. It yeah. It's like very broad. Mm -hmm. It was like, I'd say it probably topped out around like late. 30s though yeah there wasn't a whole lot of like older people there, there besides but, like parents you right. know like getting dragged there but they looked like they were into it too so i don't know well it was like it was such a high like, even if you had no idea what the fuck was going on like those games were so you couldn't hyped. help but yeah, be in you there help, like, get <laughs> you, with you wouldn't know what was going on but you'd know by the screaming that, that something, something was, was happening, happening. Right. <laughs> before you guys go too much on an overwatch topic i want to do this uh jealous shot that's here okay you've been doing <laughs> jealous shots before the podcast I, I didn't take any. Artavis had three. Um, Artavis has three. He killed them back to back. He started before the podcast, actually. So, Oh, yeah. Well, you John's know. John's been staring at this I jello know, shot. I've been looking for an opportunity to do it. He's eating it with a spoon. If they ain't weird. nothing it's wrong with having not a, really a shot. I'm a man of culture and civilized. Nothing wrong with having a little alcohol at 5 p.m. You know? <laughs> 5 p.m. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's like three now. Okay. Yeah, don't judge me. Yeah. Fuck out of here. I'm not judging you. I'm just telling the audience <laughs> that you've had three so far. We have so a far. right here. <laughs> and uh, John's had oh. half of one so far. Yeah, they're, they're not good. I kind of no. fucked those up. What flavor is that blue? Uh, Just vodka. Just vodka, yeah. Actually, I think I put some blue curacao in there, too. Ooh. I can taste only vodka. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was oh. a lot of vodka. <laughs> I probably put a little too much, actually. But oh my God. <laughs> yeah. The red tastes like Robitussin. Um, we have, yeah, great jello shots here. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, so, uh, the, the thing with this homestand game is, like, it's the, they kind of got fucked by the schedule, because it's, like, literally the bottom five teams in the league right yeah. now that are playing against, like, the top three, or top two, something like that. Like, NYXL is pretty much the favorite to win, like, pretty every much. game they yeah. play, but, like, the rest <laughs> it's, like, the Justice and the Dragons Mayhem. and Mayhem, oh, which are, like, the our worst. Team. Yeah. Uh, the rain. They they haven't won a single game this whole since, stage since Defran left. Yeah, pretty much. No, no. So uh, let's go, dude. Yeah, Defran's actually making an appearance. Yeah, he's, he's uh, widow one, fighting. Right? Is he? No, he's. Uh, is it? Yeah, he's. Is he widow fighting? Yeah, he's having a widow duel with Bryn. Yeah, the the Brito maker. <laughs> and uh, but I think he's also doing a Torb one v one with oh. uh, somebody else. I can't remember who the other guy is. Somebody who's kind of. That's going to be pretty awesome. Infamous for popping off the tour. <laughs> like they're doing a 1v1 in so, the games at some point. That's going to be pretty sweet. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Than, I'm like, more forward a, to that than a lot of these games, yeah, to be real. honest. I'm hoping it's going to be like a, like a hammer duel. Like, oh. <laughs> just smacking each other with a hammer. Yes. That'd be fun. <laughs> but yeah, like they got they got fucked with the schedules. So. But it should be should be good. Should, yeah, it should be pretty hype. I think just being there, everyone's going to be super, like just it's going to be hard to not have a good time here. So. Right. It's, Even yeah. if the games are shit, everyone's probably going to be shit faced and yeah. <laughs> it's at the uh, the the Cobb Energy Center in Atlanta, so yeah, it should be a good time. But it's, not, it's not quite the Barclays Center, but you know it's 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 also not the Grand Finals either. The Grand yeah. Finals are in Philly this year, which I really wanted to go, but I will be on the other side of the country, unfortunately. Wonder how much those tickets are going to cost. They're expensive. I looked them up. Really? Yeah, because they they went on sale, Ooh. and uh, it's a good thing we went last year. Really? <laughs> yeah, because it's insane. Oh. Like I think last year, like for the three of us to go, it was for both days. Uh, it was like two fifty ish, like for all of us, like all right. together for two days. Uh, these tickets for the homestand game were like, what was it? It was like two thirty per person. Oh, isn't that what we paid like for the two days? Oh wait, yeah, 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 for two days for this one per person, though. right? That's what we paid. Yeah, for like everybody <laughs> in the last one, but the grand finals I think are similar to the oh, homestand. Okay. It's gonna be like, it's like. Very expensive. <laughs> I thought I thought you were talking about for the grand finals were going to be two fifty per day. I was like, what? Oh no! I, well, I don't know about per day. It might be 
I know they're expensive. Yeah. I know they're pretty much just as expensive as the ones that we bought for the, and we yeah, went this, all out. For this, this yeah, this this like, was a hard sell. I I was like contemplating it for a while. Yeah. I'm just like I got to do it because I'm not gonna be able to do grand final. You got like what third row? Yeah. or something. It's like this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I need to see some live Overwatch. <laughs> There's nothing like it. Right. So we're uh, excited for that. We're actually driving up to uh, Tallahassee at some point today to pick up uh, a buddy of mine who has his own podcast, the Mayhem Maniacs podcast that I do work on. Oh, uh, that, plug. Uh, yeah, that, that plug. Yeah, that plug, though. Nope. That plug, though. Uh, name drop, also. Name drop. But, uh, yeah, so we're picking him up and then driving up to uh, Atlanta to hit the Airbnb and stuff. So Sweet. Should be, should be good times. Uh, yeah, so moving on, we've got an update from last week's podcast where we talked about the uh, whole Trump tariff issue and whatnot. Uh, Trump has come out and said that the uh, the video game consoles and games tariff will be delayed, quote, for the time being. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep this not political <laughs> as possible. Yeah, and um, you know, we say that every show, but like <laughs> we end up covering some type of political topic. Yeah, but we never, I never, I don't feel like we, it's a, in a polarizing way. Yeah. We're, we're always I pretty. Mean, we're, we're somewhat fair. Uh, but basically, Trump was at the, uh, the G20 summit and you know, apparently had talked to the Chinese president, who, uh, yeah, Xi Jinping. All right, that's close. And yeah. Yeah, I feel like I did, you know, I pretty feel like there. I pronounced that pretty close. Uh, Xi Jinping. And uh, after their meeting at Japan at the G20 summit, is basically said, uh, eh, we'll wait. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, we'll we'll, thing, we'll wait for you guys to release them zesty consoles. Right. And I, I want to know what they discussed because I we obviously have no idea. But they came out being like, oh, you know, uh, we're, we're delaying the tariffs for now, hopefully indefinitely. Hopefully it is indefinitely. Yeah, Did you I, guys see how big those so. tariffs were? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We discussed Wait. it in the last show, if you had uh, listened to the last I show. I was not on there. So, uh, no. Wow. <laughs> Polo <laughs> Gavin. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's like it's going to have this huge impact if they go through. So I'm glad that they're kind of like taking a minute. And like we kind of assume they would. Oh, yeah. To, like when you actually talk about it and say it out loud, no, it's pretty. Insane. It's super unreasonable. I, I don't think Trump knows like uh, too much about like what the tariffs are, um, and what these implications are. Like with his whole trade war with China, right? Just, well, I don't think he understands economics and like that whole. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> we we, we, we got to be fair. I'm, I'm just saying. There's like there's a million things too. you got to like look at and foresee that are like it's hard for anybody to foresee the economic impact of some <laughs> random deal that like you know he kind of pulls out of his ass um well, this is why you have economic advisors and people to like tell you what to do how to uh negotiate with certain leaders no no no. he's he's no. the master negotiator John. oh he's he is the master. <laughs> he, he wrote the art of the deal did you not know that i, I have his book at home did you, did you read it I have not read it. I have not cracked open that book at it's all. Whoa, um, I hear it's a great book. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder if he even read that open letter that, like, Microsoft, Sony, and uh, Nintendo wrote. <laughs> I thought oh, you were going like no to you're gonna ask if he read Art of the Deal. <laughs> I, I wonder if he, wrote, yeah, if he read his own book. Yeah. I mean, he didn't write it. No, that he didn't write it. Yeah, he definitely had a, yeah. uh, what was it, a shadow. Yeah. No, Ghostwriter. Uh, Ghostwriter, that's yeah. it, yeah. But... No, he did not read that open letter from. from yeah, it, like from it's one of those things where, like I said on the last podcast, it's like no one cares about gamers for the most part. At least the ones in power do. Yeah. Not. So, you know, I I don't know I to what effect. I feel like the letter probably rallied a lot of people. I don't know if it had any real effect because they just went into a meeting and were like, "Yeah, we're gonna delay them for a little bit." So it was the meeting mostly that, you know did it whatever deal they struck or whatever right it was not that letter well, as much as we love it protests. to be you're gonna see like gamers just i don't sign petitions i don't know if gamers would those. protest no we don't go out I, we yeah don't, i don't think they'd go out there. to do it yeah like you'd have to like really fuck something up huge to get like a gamer to go out gamers and, they would just meme on the yeah, internet that's, that's what, it that's how we'd protest it's like <laughs> meme on the internet and just like Hack somebody Ke- or Keanu some shit, Reeves you know, like. <laughs> beams. That's it. Right. So you're not breathtaking. You're not. <laughs> yep. That'll do it. That'll yeah. do. Uh. Yeah. So you know, I guess that's a win for gamers. Yeah. So go gamers. Way to go. I mean, you, Way to I go. Mean, us. Most of his like, uh, grandstanding over there is just 
hearsay. None of it's like is always going to stay. Yeah. Right. So um, and whenever, most, like we said, most of the tariffs that he's implemented have yeah. not gone through. They're like just kind of put out there to see yeah. what happens. So, and it sucks because like when he does put that out there, shit happens and like people start freaking out. Mm-hmm. So if he could just not do <laughs> yeah. that. Just for getting a, a response out of people. Just yeah. Riling people it's like up. he's trolling everyone. <laughs> <laughs> he is the ultimate troll. It's like we said in the last podcast. He's he's an honorary millennial. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mad respect. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, millennial. And sh- trolls. Trolls mostly. Yeah. yeah. And fucking just disgusting. <laughs> <sighs> I, 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 I disagree with that. No. Disgusting. No, part. John, you just, I'm going to mute your mic here. For this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Go off on this. So, I don't know if you guys are aware of who Bella Delphine is. It's Belle Delphine and Belle it's, Delphine. It's Belle Delphine. Is it Belle? I'm sorry. And they are aware. I'm sorry. There's an A at the end of her name, so. Well, no, no, it's Belle Delphine. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Uh, she's she's a is she on Twitch? No. So Twitch. she's not she's no, not a she, Twitch thought. She's like she's a, a cosplayer in general. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 yeah, she's a, she's a girl gamer. She like cosplayer e girl, I guess you could does say. She cosplay? Who does she cosplay? She, she, she does. Yeah, things. she cosplays. I feel old. like she just wears elf like, ears, a thing. Like, <laughs> That's a, you get. You know, elves are a thing you can cosplay. They are. Yeah. <laughs> just just, just a low just effort, thing. low effort cosplay. I, I, I don't know. Some of them are elf cosplay. Subscribe to her, uh, her channel, or is watching her her Instagram. Raise your hand. Is it just me? Yeah, it's just you. <laughs> it's just you. I mean, that is just you. It's I quality you. content. Well, I'm I'm in a bunch. I'm in a bunch a of lie. groups. I'm in a bunch of groups, so I end up seeing tons of Belle Delphine posts anyway. Yes. So I might as well be subscribed. Like, I mean, if you watch any of YouTube, they always use her in thumbnails. So oh yeah. Want views. Mark posted a thumbnail of, of Belle Delphine. We're not, we're not a video yeah. she, she's a she's been really like big in the nerd community for the past year and a half maybe like she's just blown up so for just like, like the weirdest fucking yeah she she's a meme like, she's yeah. the yeah. one of the biggest memes ever she, and she's like, been able to copied a video of neon neon cosplay yeah which is that hit or miss girl oh. uh and she all bell delphine did was just do the same exact thing and <laughs> that blew up and that made her huge she's got almost like four million followers on instagram right now yeah it's, it's insane it's oh yeah cringy. during that whole irs <laughs> thing when you know when they were reporting the these e-girls you know it mm. like the irs came after her mm. or something like that and she was make she was making a shit ton of money she oh, owed them a lot of money shit. oh yeah <laughs> well she she lives in london i think yeah uh, or at least in england i know so um, you know you, I mean, you're one of those followers. Uh, <laughs> you're one of those. Fo- you have well, her address. She never talked in any her, of her videos. She so, what? Uh, you get interested. Like, what is? What does she sound like? I've, she, I've, I've kind of made it a point to avoid. Her. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, <laughs> I mean, look that up. Jamie, look that up. <laughs> we, we need, we need our own Jamie. We need a, we need a somebody. Um, look it up in the in the sound booth over there. In the sound booth. The sound booth is in front of me. Um, <laughs> anyway, so Belle Delphine. Mm-hmm. Uh, recently like what this was like this week yeah um she's selling little tiny jars of <laughs> her own bath water let me let let that sink in for a second sign me up <laughs> she's selling jars of her own bath water for Thirty dollars a jar, and they are tiny. They're tiny jars. Yeah, they don't are. talk about value. Like, <laughs> I mean, they she's are tiny just running jars. Water and putting that in there. Oh, but... she's not bathing, and well, she could be. I don't know. No, she's fucking weird. She she, she actually she's posted. Into... She posted a video that that's one video. Well, I mean, it's in, still in a video of her in the bathtub, no, there, how how bottling, the bottling these. Uh, how many of those things out? Sell? She sold out. She, yeah, she sold out. She, so she, sell out she of sold. Of water. She sold. Them, yeah, she sold a bathtub's worth of. Oh, these, so it was just uh, like a, it was a limited was like, run deal. Uh, it's so she kind of sold it for a yeah. lot more than thirty dollars. If that was like a limited time. No. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. How much Absolutely. would you pay for bath water, John? I mean, I, uh, I would. <laughs> Thanks for putting me on the spot, Mark. You um, asked. Uh, well, we know her fans are very thirsty. 
Uh, yeah. And this will not quench their thirst. It will only increase the thirst. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, I'm glad you asked. How are much. they drinking it or are they keeping that water? I don't want to know what they're doing it, yeah. with that they're water, to be honest with, with you. Water, you know what are you doing with bath water? Just put like a little teaspoon of it in your bath. And <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, they're smelling it at least. I'll tell you what they're Absolutely. doing with this bath water. <laughs> they're fucking reselling it on eBay literally for 10 grand. Yeah, I'm saying she should. She should the, have sold the largest it a lot more bid right now is ten thousand dollars on eBay. There's like sixteen bidders. That's fucking retarded. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sorry. one of those bidders. I swear. I, <laughs> I don't. You're you're on the one that's like five hundred. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so, I don't know. I <laughs> she's smart. She's incredibly smart. What she's doing. Is it smart or is it just As taking advantage of a bunch of fucking weirdos? That's Both. She knows, she knows <laughs> That's her market. America was built on taking advantage <laughs> of weirdos. weirdos. Within a year's time, she has made like at least several million dollars off of this and her Instagram posts, her, her sponsors, her partnerships. Absolutely. Like uh, just using her looks just very briefly for all this this monumental gain it is ridiculous it is yeah. ridiculous. you got you got to respect the hustle and she's I, into it too she, <laughs> she's she's totally in the culture if you've seen some of her response videos to some people especially the porn hub videos oh no these have you heard about these fake porn hub videos no they're they're real but she announced on her twitter once that she was in a partnership with porn hub oh. and she put out eight or ten videos on porn hub yeah and they're it was all titled things like PewDiePie goes all the way inside Belle Delphine. It's like innuendos pretty much. And she eats a picture of PewDiePie. Oh. And there's one where it's like Belle Delphine with two black cocks. And she's just or petting like two roots. <laughs> and everyone is just a huge troll. And yeah. everyone is downvoted to oblivion. <laughs> they all have millions of views. Each one. Yeah. Of course. Oh, oh yeah. All those fucking weirdos. And <laughs> yeah, I've watched a few. Yeah, <laughs> she, I'm sure you have. She's, yeah, she's super. <laughs> she's super weird. Like there were, I think she released a video on YouTube or something of her with a dead octopus. Oh, that was the creepiest thing. I it, did yeah, she was just like doing weird. They would had she put googly eyes, it's googly really eyes long, on it, too, it's really and, long and it's video. just her like doing, you know, taking a bath with it, playing video games with it, it's listening a real to views. Yeah, it's not like a toy or anything. That's like yeah, it's very. It's dead. Yeah. yeah, it's a dead. I, like I saw it on H three podcast. They did a thing on it. And they they actually made a request of her because she only follows three people on Twitter, yes. and Ethan and Ela are one of them. Nice. Ethan, uh, the Philip two? DeFranco, Bill, oh, okay. and um, I think maybe was it Mr. Beast? I don't remember the third I person. I don't remember the third person, yeah. but Jesus. Philip DeFranco and H three was one. And so oh, he was like, "Man, I, I didn't know, you know, she followed." So, so he. Which uh, I feel weird saying it because it's it's weird. I don't know why someone would request it, but he's like he asked her to like fart in a jar and send it to him. Oh my god! <laughs> so she he would. could she, have she absolutely his like sound guys like whiff it pretty much. Oh, it was just like uh, I thought you were gonna say so the sound guy could open it and they could have just like an audio file of her <laughs> fart. And I was like, that's not how that works. I mean, that's content. That's, that's not how that works content. at all. It is con- yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think she's going to do that, but I feel like this whole thing with Look, the bath water was, came yeah. from that because it's very similar if to what they asked bath for. bath water for $30, <laughs> like her farting into a jar is like not below her. Oh, great. Like, don't. <laughs> I mean, she's into it too. Like, she's into it. Oh, I'd be into people stuff. buying my bath water. <laughs> no, Are you like, fucking kidding like, me? Like, if I can make like. 30 grand off like filling my tub and sitting my dirty ass in there I would make so much money in a heartbeat don't even try me John see, that's, that's why I'm saying she's smart she knows what she's doing she knows her fans like see me I, 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 it's not a big deal to, well it's really weird don't get me wrong but I've seen people like you know I don't see it as being different than the people who collect volcano dust you know, you know? it's very <laughs> hang on <laughs> hold, hold the fuck on People who collect volcano dust, but that, that's a thing. That's a thing. People the hell collect is volca- like ash. Yeah, ash. People okay. collect ash from volcanoes, and they put it in little jars, and they just collect volcano they just label jars. It and stuff. Yeah, is it like price saving for that's, Ryan collecting dirt around the world. That's not different. It's not different than selling bath water. You know, is it? not, No. What are you gonna no. do with volcano ash? I don't know. Maybe what's you're the super point into of what's the point stuff. of I, what if you're super into so, Belle Delphine? So you just because <laughs> she's not a collectible. She's yeah. not. Like, she's not. Yeah, like 
<laughs> By the way, she they should she should millions totally make of gallons Bell, go Bell down her drain every day. <laughs> so you know, but if you if you were a guy who's just like you know what, I want to collect the bathwater of every e girl who sells bathwater. <laughs> how many e girls do you think now are going to start selling their bathwater? Well, how many have already? Yeah, they have That's already, the which I've learned. I've, I've learned a lot of things researching this. Uh-huh. <laughs> how how but, extensive was that research already? Huh? Oh, it how, was how, how extensive? It, how it was. It was literally that? just like he reading. Had to take his pants all the way off. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally just me reading the comment sections. That was the extent of my research. Uh-huh. I just wanted to sound cool. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, apparently that's a thing that, like, e- not e girls, but um. Um, See, I like I, cam girls do. I throw this up there with like selling the panties and stuff yeah. like that, like the the worn socks. Yeah, it's weird, but it's like almost weirder because it's we're dirty bad or yeah. well, you, I mean, dirty. Do you think her market is like more Japan, or do you think it's no? It's point, everywhere. It's everywhere, dude. Everywhere. It, guys, it, guys are creepy yeah. no matter where they're from. I feel from. like Japan probably is one of like the bigger buyers, though. No, yeah, no. Japan, they're just open they're, about they're it. They're weird. Like they can get their panties and bath water from vending machines. They, they don't. <laughs> they don't need to go to Bell Delphine. It's a utopia. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed. <laughs> oh my god. To the. But uh, you should you should check out these uh, Pornhub videos. Like they're hilarious. There's so many of them. I, I yeah. I I only saw. I don't even think I saw the whole thing on H3 because most of them they had to like they, it was YouTube, so they couldn't show all of them no, because yeah. she's you know not where you know she well, she's barely wearing anything and all any you know all of them. So yeah. you can't even, really post even her YouTube. Instagram posts. Like she's wearing just tape on her nipples, or she has just like bath foam on her ass and that's it and it's like and this get this is what gets what gets her millions of views uh of course i mean it's, yeah it's just you know of that's course. nothing new no it's yeah but it's art it's, I, it's, I, <laughs> I i wish you could have seen mark's face right there <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here with that <laughs> yeah i i mean i i just can't i i don't know it's it's super weird, but it's like I'm I'm not gonna judge. It doesn't hurt me at all. It doesn't hurt. It hurts my soul. Yeah, you know I do feel like if, like, you're, if you're if you're one of those people buying the bathwater, like <laughs> yeah, we I don't it, need you. It, but, <laughs> it, it makes me sort of worry. I'm just like, how? I mean, it was so cheap. I'm sure like a lot of kids just cheap. Thirty dollars? You can't throw thirty bucks at something. You threw- <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not throwing thirty to, to all the podcast <laughs> listeners out there. If you want bath water <laughs> from my tub that I sat in, I will sell it to you for five dollars. How about low that? Price and it, it'll be a nice size too. Oh. I, I I won't skimp out like Bella Bell Delphine did. How dirty with these is tiny candy? little little jelly jars? I will go full mason jar for five Ooh. bucks. How dirty is that bath Shipped. water? Oh. Oh, it's dirty. It's dirty. It's super dirty. And if you uh, if you order now, you can get a, a special washcloth that I've wiped my uh, sweaty balls on oh. for nine ninety nine. Damn. Three payments of nine ninety nine. So payments. go ahead and make that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I wish we were bigger because we would definitely get responses for that. Like, I, mean, I guarantee point, you. Would. Like, it is I don't know. Like I don't know. Now, I feel like you, you have to be like PewDiePie level to no, for a guy I, yeah. to be able to do that. Maybe for a dude, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although for meme potential, maybe. Oh yeah, maybe. Absolutely. And it's five if, bucks. If you you can't waste five bucks. That's it. <laughs> like I, I'd probably, I'd probably buy PewDiePie's sweaty ball rag. Or <laughs> Jesus, it's it's almost like pouring yourself out, but there's nothing wrong with it yeah. because it's such a. a dumb business decision that works you know what i want to try I, okay so here's what i want to do <laughs> i want to use that snapchat filter that turns you into a woman oh i'm gonna take like a couple pictures with that and then i'm gonna post the bathwater thing i'm gonna like kind of jabate everybody into it 
and it, sell it. You know, I'll what? become a, like a fake e girl. It could probably work it because probably would. it's been working on Twi- uh, Tinder for some guys yeah, actually. So getting catfish with this fucking Snapchat filter. <laughs> what, well, Snapchat? What have you done? <laughs> get a female <laughs> you, voice changer you, on that sound on that soundboard, oh, yeah. and you're in business. And exactly. this is kind of like off subject, but it has something to do with that like fucking technology, like that deep fake technology. Oh yeah, I know. About uh, that. Did you see about the deep or uh, the nudes. deep nudes? Yeah, the guy came oh, out deep and said. Nudes? Yeah, it's uh, like, you know deep fakes, right? Right. Um, this guy came out last week or two weeks ago, creating this uh, deep nude app, where it's pretty much uh, just a picture you would take of a, of a woman, run it through the, that filter, and it would declothe her entirely. Uh, wow. Very yeah. accurately. It Jesus. was an app that they released from yeah. like Windows, I think. And yeah, he it's... removed it after just a week of backlash. Yeah. Because he said, uh, I guess the world is not ready yet. For deep <laughs> yeah, the oh world, like he was shocked. Come no, on, he, dude. I think he, he realized he was selling it for too little. And he's like, oh, I didn't know this was this big of a market. Oh, yeah, yeah for real. I'm going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's crazy. It's so fucked up. But you, apparently, you know, it wasn't just for women. You could do it for men, too. But it who, was it was just for men. Men. yeah you know yeah, who, you know you who's using that men, up. if you if you used men on it it would just give them a yeah a giant I saw it. <laughs> yeah it, it didn't know what to do <laughs> you know if you ever want to see what you would look like if you transitioned Mark no see just not through. all the way like the face thing was kind of funny I I'm not gonna lie I would run myself through one of those deep nudes I just out of curiosity just we already see how know accurate it was <laughs> <laughs> we already know I'd be a beautiful woman. No, we don't, John. I can prove to you, Mark. You never proved it to me. You've taken pictures. You, I've seen the pictures, John. Uh, You've never proved that to all me. All right, here we go. This is how we're going to do it. Social media vote. We're going to have a deep nude picture of uh, John and a deep nude picture of Mark. You guys vote on it. Who's the hotter? Ch- it doesn't, do the it doesn't, you can just do the Snapchat. I, I, couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of the filter, so that's oh, why okay. I said deep nude. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Social media. We're going to post that up for you I mean, guys, and you can vote. They're not going to be able to Game take Pass themselves podcast, away the from their bottle of lotion. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Enough to... <laughs> Lord have mercy. In, in your fantasy, John. <laughs> Only in your fantasy. I can dream. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah. Hit us up on Twitter if you, uh, if you want some of that bath water. <sighs> Five bucks shipped. Can't beat it. <laughs> but you can beat to it. Oh. Anyway, find the links in the description. <laughs> I'm not putting that in the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can find that shit on Twitter <laughs> at Gamepad Pod. Anyway, uh, uh, moving on, we'll go on. Uh, this is a great jumping off point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I mean, there's really no good transition into yeah. anything from here. So uh, let's move on into the retro review. Retro review. Slow applause there. Retro. Okay. A retro review. I feel like we can't copy him exactly. He, we got to. We got to. No do bullshit. He copies everyone. Yeah, but I mean that so was his thing. It, yeah. The classic. Yeah, exactly. He still that. He's Jack of uh, Jack Septicai. No, we can do that. He's he's not gonna watch this or listen to this. Not with that attitude. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hashtag PewDiePie. Hashtag PewDiePie. <laughs> Subscribe to uh, get him in a hundred mil. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I actually did buy something this week. For the last two podcasts, I've been kind of uh, slacking. So what did you buy, Mark? I made it up. I made up for it this week. Oh I, yeah, I uh, <laughs> I bought a complete inbox NES Deluxe set. And for those that don't know, which I imagine are quite a few, the uh, NES Deluxe set is the one that came with the NES system, uh, the Zapper Gun, two controllers, Mario Brothers, and Duck Hunt and uh gyromite and the rob it came with uh the robotic operating buddy i have played on the rob before have you it is a i haven't yet oh it's fun i never had it personally Mm -hmm. my friend had it and man that is it looks super fun i just love the way rob looks he's like so oh yeah he's he's like the epitome of retro Mm -hmm. like it's so cool looking like you, you you'll see him around town but no one's selling him yeah like every retro store that i go to has one and they're like, I've asked. I was like, you guys selling Rob? And they're like, no. 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 Even like Keep the, on walking, yeah, buddy. Like even the flea market guy that like I go to sometimes, he's got a Rob. And I've asked him. He's like, I can't, man. Like, <laughs> it's Rob. I can't I can't sell him. It's so, too insignificant. 
things. Yeah. 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 It, he's just he's, he like he he's got that place in everybody's heart. He he pretty much is just the the signal for like the he was the renaissance. He started the renaissance of uh Nintendo. Right. Just like the gaming industry had died and <laughs> no one thought it would come back and then here comes our Lord and Savior Rob. <laughs> I don't think we can owe it all to Rob. Yeah, I don't know about, no, it I don't know about that. Rob, no, no, I don't think Rob was like super shh, 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 popular at the time. Don't listen to that. I don't know how much we were looking don't through nostalgia glasses, rose tinted glasses at, at Rob. Well, I, I've never out. actually played with a Rob, so oh, okay. Uh, it's pretty slow. And you played him? You have you've tried? I've, I've I haven't played him myself, but I've seen him being played. I mean, I, I can't like we turned him on the other day. We put batteries in him, and yeah. I mean the arms move a little slow. <laughs> Yeah, you got to keep in mind though this was like thirty year old. Yeah, so oh, yeah. you have to like open up the machine and actually like polish the gears and stuff. Do you? Oh, I don't know. I, oh. you said it's thirty years old. Uh, um, no, I mean um, this one's like fully functional and working and stuff, which is rare. Like yeah. complete, like no damage or anything. Like it's it's actually in really good condition. Uh, and I got that. At or no, I'm sorry, not. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Cut that out! Come Cut on, it. bro! Damn it! I got it at Gone Broke Gaming. There we in go. Jacksonville. I, I don't know. I fucking <laughs> I hate that store. <laughs> Why would you plug something you hate. I because I, I just blanked on the name and that was the name that popped up. <laughs> don't don't bleep it. Yeah, bleep it. Yeah, don't bleep it. Bleep <laughs> no, it. no, bleep it. Bleep what, it. Just like what do you what do you say? What Which do you, store does what he hate? There's, there's several. There there are many. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh Gone Broke Gaming had the rep. So we talked about it last episode at the end when we were talking about the retro uh, stuff. Yeah, that's and right. uh, we talked. I mentioned that uh, Gone Broke had the the deluxe set with the Rob and everything. They had just gotten it in, and I was like, "Eh, it's probably gone by now." Yeah. Oh well. And as I was editing that podcast, I was like, eh, you're "Sending a message wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Let's just see." And I sent them a message, and the next morning they were like, "Yeah, no, it's actually still here." And I was like, oh. it just blows my mind because it, it had been there for two or three weeks. Yeah, it was like three, almost going on four. Yeah. And so I walked in and I was like, is that Rob for sale? They were like, yep. <laughs> I was like, can I see him? <laughs> it's like a drug deal. It's like, you got the goods? You got it. Can I you see it? it? <laughs> and so he pulls it down and opens the box and stuff. And he was in there and I was like, yep. I'm and I, I love Gone Broke because of the way that they sort of present the stuff to you. It's like, they they make it magical. They do it nice and slow. Every movement that they do when they're opening the box is super just fluid. I, mean, I don't and know if he's being deliberate or that. But he's, <laughs> they, he's like the steak bay guy, the salt, <laughs> salt bay, the salt, <laughs> bay. <laughs> the salt bay of retro game. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did sit and talk with that guy for like a little bit. He's, he's super cool. Oh yeah. Like every time I've gone in, he's been just awesome. So uh, yeah, shout out to Gone Broke Gaming for hooking me up with that Rob. I mean, I paid them. They didn't hook me up with it. <laughs> yeah, they hooked me up. Yeah. They, yeah. That sponsor. Uh, but yeah, hopefully at some point once we become a video podcast, he'll be, he'll, Rob will be sitting right next to me. And, you know, nice. he'll, be, he'll be my mascot. Cause, you know, Does everybody he only put one. it in the Nintendo or can you attach it, like put it into like a DVD player or something? Like put, would... put Rob into Yeah. I don't can know. Like, I don't actually know how he connects because like I was looking modify it i, I yeah. didn't see a cable that came with him it might be that weird like antenna looking thing oh yeah it's like so there's a booklet something that... else in his hands and like you know <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a booklet that came with the because it was complete in box everything was complete so the instruction booklet for rob was in there but it was still sealed and it had like the original tape and everything on it oh, and it was yeah. like a perfect book like never been opened and I really don't want to open it. Oh yeah, at this you, point. You, you you're getting close to it. Yeah, I stopped I, I you. Was, I'm like, bro, like, mm, you I'll, think about this I'll before you do it. I'll look yeah, it up on yeah. the just print yeah, on yeah, one, another one online. PDF or something. Sure it's <laughs> out there. But it's funny because like the zapper gun instruction booklet is like all chewed up. Oh, it's, well, it's like yeah, it's well, that was probably used a lot. Right, yeah. it's probably used way more than the Rob. But uh, yeah, they probably just put him to the side, just like yeah, what the fuck like, is this thing? I want the gun. Like three pew, games pew, for pew, this pew. thing, whatever. Is it just the gun, or do you have the the rifle also? You can you can <laughs> no, it's just the gun, put it into just like the zapper. Rifle and Ooh. No, nah, this one well. was just the the zapper. Nice. So, yeah. <laughs> now you need a power glove. I know. Oh, that, that's like the next. That's rare. The next white like, buffalo. If you're talking about Rob. I think power glove is even rare. That's yeah. The power glove's hard to find. Uh, I think Gonbrook has their own 
Oh, really? Yeah, it's another one of those like mascot things. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not for sale. It's definitely yeah. not for sale. I asked. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Power Glove's hard to come by. Cause that, I mean, that was terrible. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, you know, probably eBay. I'll probably find it on eBay one day or a garage sale or something. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Probably find some guy who's like broke down and, you know, go to help him out. And he's just going to, it's like, oh man, like, I, I just. Here, take this power glove so I can. I don't. I don't know why I made up that's, that that's elaborate story. Scenario. That's a very <laughs> weird scenario, but. <laughs> but like, I feel like the the power glove would be like the last of like that trifecta because I've got the Virtual Boy. Yeah, I've got Rob. Power gloves like kind of the last piece of that triforce. I, I think. Yeah. Like, is there any other? Can you guys think of any other? like retro device that would like be... those, those are iconic that's right. what makes them so i don't well, i can't I, think I, of I can't, anything of that if there's another besides like just one-off games and stuff like yeah. that i don't think there is kind of like an iconic accessory that's yeah it's like similar. the the exodia of accessories right you got to put them all together <laughs> <laughs> except well so actually the the, the more accurate ex- exodia would be the uh the genesis because you put the the Genesis two specifically because oh. you put the Genesis two you hook that up to the Sega CD yeah and then you hook the uh, the Mega Drive into yep. it and the the, <laughs> the thirty two or whatever the thirty two X Mega Drive on top of it and it just becomes this like weird transformer of a Genesis yeah that, that's such a weird thing yeah like I don't know like they just they kept releasing stuff for that system man <laughs> it's so crazy like they just kept releasing accessories instead of like new systems like. You know, and look where they are now. Yeah, <laughs> they were really trying. Like a lot of those things were way. Well, and the thing is, is that like they worked well. I mean, like the Sega CD played CD games and stuff fine. Like the Mega Drive was whatever. But... Yeah, it's just like when they came out, like especially at the time, it, it was super. It was super expensive. Yeah. And then you had to convince people why they needed it. Right. You and know, so why would I need the Sega CD when I <laughs> still have the Genesis with all these cartridges and stuff? And plus the. Uh, when the Sega CD came out, I don't think CD games were really a thing at that point. No, it was still cartridges. At yeah, that point. yeah. Because I was like Super Nintendo and PlayStation hadn't come out. Like I think I PlayStation, PlayStation was towards the end of the life of the Sega CD because then it was the uh, Saturn, mm-hmm. Sega Saturn. Yeah, but yeah, I can't think of anything else that would be like the iconic thing to have in like a, a collection besides the Rob or the the Power Glove right. along with Rob and Virtual Boy. Yep, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You need that trifecta, man. Yeah. So if any of you out there have a uh, power glove you're looking to get rid of, hit me up. And it, that actually, like, it wasn't power glove level, but, like, uh, you had a, a friend of yours contact you because uh, two episodes, three episodes ago, Yeah, w- I mentioned looking for the... Uh, yeah, she was on episode two. Was it episode two? Mm-hmm. So that was the that was the E three episode. I think so. And I mentioned trying to find a uh, the Force Unleashed for the three sixty because I really love that game. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like Gone Broke's got a, quite a few copies, so like I could have bought it. But uh, your friend contacted you like when she was listening. Yeah, she's just episode. like I have it if yeah, you want like, it. You want I was it? Like, oh, I'll yeah. send it to you. It's, it's like Mark will totally love that. And he, he cool messaged me and was like, "You still want it?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> like this podcast is already worth it to me. Like, <laughs> people sending in their games and shit. Like hell yeah. That's re- yeah. That's really super cool. Yeah. Not that like she- you know I expect that out of you guys, but <laughs> you know <laughs> you want a little shout out. I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> who who was it? Uh, Carly. Yeah. Shout out to Carly. Thanks for hooking a brother up. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Carly. yeah. So uh, if any of you want a shout out, all you gotta do is send me a game. <laughs> Jesus, really just send me a game. Jesus, <laughs> now now he's now it's gonna go to his head. Thank you. Right. <laughs> <He's> like, ah. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? You've changed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I like changed. The old classic podcast. <laughs> before, before he sold out, but everything before episode five was just six. spot on. Episode or six. before episode six. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well if uh if you guys do want to get into contact with us and stuff we're on twitter at the gamepad pod uh we're also on youtube now gamepad podcast uh the podcast you can actually listen to completely on there if you've got like that youtube red or whatever mm-hmm. uh you can you know turn on the podcast listen to it shut the phone down and it'll still be playing that's pretty cool uh we're on there and then we're also on 
uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, or iTunes. I just said iTunes. Uh, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play is on there now. Uh, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podbean. I feel like I'm forgetting one. I feel like I forget there's one every so, episode. There's so many. I, it's it, like every week. It's like, oh, are you guys on this? Oh, and we will be next week. <laughs> yeah, was it Google Play? Was it was it, Google Play say? that I, I totally yeah. forgot about. So we're on there now. You should be listening to it on it. <laughs> Hit like if you're listening on Google Play. <laughs> Smash <laughs> like. Um, yeah. And if you like more of the retro stuff, Retro Mart Gaming on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook are all over there. Posting all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, Artavis, did you set up anything yet? You were oh, talking yeah. about that last episode. Uh, so uh, if you guys want to uh, hit me up, uh, I do uh, porn reviews. So go to pornhub.com. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. I mean, I, I, he he rolled into it like now. so naturally. I was like, oh, cool. He did set something. Oh, God. What? I, like, I still have a few things. I have a few things in the works. This should be pretty cool. So maybe let's give it a couple weeks maybe couple maybe weeks, couple by episode 10 no by episode 10 i'll have something okay that's four episodes from now so yeah you have a month. Little tease yeah right there. yeah you have a month to set something up so make it worth it <laughs> do not disappoint us now you're gonna have to deliver yeah oh yeah i'll, I'll do it i'll do it <laughs> we got uh, this and john you don't have anything to shout uh, out do you no i have nothing to plug damn uh, on anything um but no, thank you for having me. It's, it was, it was oh yeah, yeah definitely. Time, man. We were uh, having having a good Fourth of July yesterday, so it was like let's uh, let's do a podcast while you're here. Fuck it. Oh yeah, would have been nice to have the other guys on, but they uh, they all bailed. So they're they're intimidated. They're, they're just not, scared. You know, they ain't one of the real ones. I guess. <laughs> it's like you know talking to people for two hours. It's, no, actually, we're we're doing pretty good on this one. We're only like an hour twenty. Oh shit! Yeah. I was looking forward to this. this Very really nice. Good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely, we definitely got to have you on again because some good combo. Yeah, Thank you. except for the Bella Delphine thing. That shit was weird. That was very weird, but very entertaining. <laughs> but I'm, I'm with you. We go you. on about Bella Delphine. I got other girls that are talking about it on TikTok. It's Jeez. a big thing. <laughs> no, no. No, I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> but plug in TikTok. Yeah. I, there's some good memes on TikTok, though. But, you know, I won't get into that. I'm hey, sorry. What's your account on TikTok, John? You have a TikTok, don't you? Shout out your TikTok. I do not have a TikTok. Bullshit. You <laughs> don't do have a TikTok. He, he doesn't want you to see his followers on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be honest. R slash Bill Kids. I'm, oh, no, I'm, no. I'm, 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 <laughs> good looking out. I won't, I won't tell anybody mine either. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So with all that being said, thanks for listening, everybody. We appreciate all the support and downloads and everything. And uh, subscribe on any platform if you haven't already. It helps us out. And... Uh, We'll see you guys in the next episode next week. We'll do a little uh, a rundown of the Atlanta games and stuff. Oh, yeah. So that'll, be, that'll be super fun. You're probably going to be listening to this as we're wrapping up the games because, you know, we record these in advance. It's just the way it is. That's how time works. <laughs> so, so with that being said, thanks, guys, for listening, and we will catch you guys next week. Peace. Love you. I didn't. I think I. I think Artavis took mine. Actually. No, he didn't really. He, did, he, did he, he gave me a blue already. one. I didn't take it. I don't really. I don't really want one though. No, if I'm gonna do one, I'm not oh. gonna do one alone. I'm pretty loose. Goosey goosey. Is the juice loose? The, ju- <laughs> the juice is loose. This is good air. Hello. Is... I'm recording. I guess I started recording a while ago. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>